friends, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa, or Missa, welcome. I have no lipstick on, I just kind of went over with my foundation brush, um, and I just filmed this look here for my last video, which, if you haven't seen it, why not, that's really rude. Anyway, as I was about to honestly take all my makeup off, get in the shower and then fester in my bed eating snacks, I got a delivery from Be Perfect. I'm very lucky, I'm on Be Perfect. PR list and I don't know how that happened but it did and uh, we count our blessings we don't point out mistakes um, and in here are some of the new lipsticks that they've just released so yeah I thought what we could do is if I first I tell you the cats use the litter box on purpose when I'm filming yeah I thought we could take them out this glorious lovely holographic worms as a uh, bunny would say and uh, try them on uh, try the colors on I'm not sure what the colors are I've got one two how many do I have six two four, yeah I've got six uh, lipsticks three lip liners so I thought we could try them on and uh, see what the colors are like but more importantly see what the formula is like there's like two different packaging types I assume one is like maybe the matte version and one's like this satin soft matte soft satin yeah so i've got three mattes three satins be perfect are also releasing a foundation which honestly i'm quite excited about i love testing new foundations and it's been a really long time since i've tested one so uh, they asked me like what shades i use on my current foundation and stuff so hopefully that comes soon and i can test that out um but let's have a look at these bullets so the matte ones are in like silvery components and then the satins are in like a darker component it makes me sound very knowledgeable when i say things like that in reality i know very little about very very little oh we can also test the lip liners as well i actually watched teresa who i always talk about teresa Mulher, and she did a video on these and she hated the lip liners she said they were like the worst thing ever so i'm excited to try them and see if i agree i will say for how close friends we are me and teresa actually differ in our opinion of makeup quite a lot so we'll see what I think of these anyway let's try the satins first will we because I think they'll be a little bit easier to put on and get off so the first shade I've got is first kiss Ooh, the bullet's really pretty I'm a beauty blogger mom look it's like a dark matte I'm very fussy with my lip colors a lot of you will know this but anyway let's try on Probably will go with like this makeup quite well, like these nudes. They don't smell very nice. They don't smell horrible. I wouldn't say it smells very nice. It smells quite like cheap and plast plasticky and like just not that pleasant. But anyway, we'll try it with the lip liner in the shade. What shade are you tame? Because it seems like the most brown. Oh gosh. That lip liner goes fine, it's very sharp and it is quite sore to use. That's the colour there. Yeah, it's first kiss. What do we think of that shade? Yeah, it does really, it feels really nice. I've got to say the satin feels really nice, but I can really, I can taste it. Like I can taste what it tastes like. <laughs> Probably because it's on my mouth and uh, it's not the most pleasant of tastes of lipsticks, which is probably like a weird thing to point out, but I feel like I can smell it and taste it at the same time and I've got a bad cold so that's saying quite a lot so yeah, mm. but in terms of like how it feels on my lips it feels nice okay next satin one we'll try is the shade plump this is like a very dark orangey brown it's not gonna go with this eye look is it very smooth easy application I really don't like the taste of these, the smell and the taste, I don't like. Okay, that is plump and I don't really have a lip liner that's going to go with that at all so I'm not going to bother trying one of the ones that I've got because it's just, yeah, it's not going to match in the slightest. Um, I'm not sure what I think of that colour. I quite like it but on the same token, this is a very kind of glidey, smooth, satiny lipstick and I feel like it's just going to move everywhere. Like, I don't, you couldn't kiss anyone with this on, like... It's like, it's just gonna come off. Put that under a mask would be 
a disaster. But it's quite a nice colour. I quite like the terracotta colours these days on me. I think what's throwing me off is the, the, the eye look. And therefore, last of the satins is Stare. Oh, I'm just not sure about these colours, but put it on. Nah. Oh, I don't think I like that. Have you ever seen such bad application? Probably not. I might try the lip liner and kiss me with this. I feel like it could go. These are very dry and very scratchy. So I think uh, me and Teresa actually will agree on this. Yeah, that lip liner goes quite well. That actually, still it's quite scratchy. It's not the most pleasant to use and not really the most pigmented. That is, what are you? Stare. I don't like it on me. Again though, with this eye look, I don't think I'd like anything except a pale nude. Whilst it feels really nice, it doesn't smell nice or taste nice. And that's, I don't, I'm finding it quite off-putting. Like it's not disgusting, but it's quite unpleasant. I don't recall in Teresa's video if she mentioned the scent or not. By the way, she bought them all. She spent 180 euros on everything. Okay, let's move on to matte, see if it has the same scent, see if it uh, like feels nice. Oh, so this one's in plump as well. Oh, so they're the same, are they? But in matte. That's the colour. Plump in the satin formula. Yeah, they're like exactly the same. So there's almost like no point <laughs> in me swatching these all. So it's easily like not as glidey, but that's gonna that's like normal. It's a matte lipstick. My application is so bad. You know the application. So that's the matte version of Plump. I prefer it because I do prefer a matte lipstick. And um, see how transfery it is. Very transfery. Still pretty much the same. Um, but feels more matte on the lips, if you can imagine. Also. Smells more like petrol this time. Don't like the scent of it. It's really, it's really putting me off. It smells like cleaning products, like cheap bleach. I, oh, what is this about? Like, you see when I review products and like brands and stuff, I never worry about like, oh my goodness, the brand won't like me because I've not like sung the, the, the product's praises and they'll kick me off their PR list. Like I've been kicked off a million PR lists. But at the same time, I really don't want to be kicked off Be Perfect's PR list because their carnival palettes are my life and it saves me money on buying them when I know I will anyway, but like, I feel like my review is going to come down to them being like, yeah, you're off our PR list is what I'm trying to say because it doesn't feel nice. It's not that it doesn't feel nice, it doesn't taste nice and it's, I'm honestly finding it quite hard to deal with. And I... I'm not at all sensitive to scents, you know like some scents give people headaches, they can't use like scented foundations, they can't use scented moisturisers. I can deal with that. But this is... Oh, I don't like it. Okay, then we have First Kiss, which is... I was trying to rub the swatches off my hands. That shade. Try this on. Okay, shocking application, but I actually do prefer this colour in this matte formula. I don't know, I just think it looks like that's the satin, that's the matte. I feel like that flatters me a bit more than the satin version did, so I actually quite like this one. However, it smells... It smells like a very specific chemical that I use in my house, like, when I'm cleaning. And I can't put my finger on it, and I don't like it. And again, it's off putting, blah blah blah, I'm saying the same thing. Like, they're definitely gonna fall out with me over this review, but gotta be honest. Uh, don't like it. But, but, I like the colour. I do like the colour. Will I keep it and use it? <laughs> probably not. We have one left. So you probably guessed it, last up we have Stare. Um, which is quite similar to the map, like the one I've just got on that stare there. Doesn't swatch on the skin very nicely, it looks really patchy. What's wrong Tato's? What's wrong? Okay, even badlier applied. And um, again, I prefer that colour in the matte version than I do the, the satin version. Come on, you're being very mischievous right now. 
again this smells like petrol or like cleaning supplies or something that I just don't jive with being on my face but this one actually smells like the least bad out of all of the ones that I swatched like I'm noticing this one the very very least maybe it's just because I'm now used to the smell and I'm like it's you know you know what I mean like when you get used to a smell you're being so naughty yeah maybe it's just I'm a bit more used to it there's one lip pencil I haven't tried called moi so let's put that on oh color is good oh my application's getting out of control that lip liner actually feels the nicest the shade moi yeah that felt like the smoothest and nicest most comfortable to put on um again not a super fan of the color but it's not the worst one that i've tried out of these six today oh okay so we've tried them all on they're all very comfortable like none of them feel unpleasant on my lips they all actually feel really quite pleasant like absolutely no complaints to how they feel but the smell of them all i'm not sure if maybe it's like the component and the glue they've used in it or something like that or if it's the actual lipstick but something doesn't smell nice and it's translating onto the lips and I can smell it in my nose, I can taste it in my mouth and I'm just like, it is not a pleasant experience. Dude. I've got to be honest, I have not enjoyed this experience of these lipsticks and I'm not going to keep any of them. I don't think, like none of the colours are nice enough that I'm like, why well, I'll keep it and like get a lot of use out of it because at least the colour's really pretty. Do you know what I mean? It's like, there are some pretty colours in this line, there's some reds and stuff that look really lovely but the shades that I I got sent, I do, I do worry that I just sound really, really ungrateful and I'm definitely not. Like, when I get sent something in PR, I, like, it's literally like Christmas to me. But I've got to be honest and I just don't think that these are very nice lipsticks. Texture-wise, great. The way they smell, really off-putting and I don't think I could bear to wear them all day, to be honest. So yeah, that's my review of them. Again, they're going to fall out with me over this, but... I don't know it's just it's not it's not my kind of thing so yeah that's that's all I have to say about it really I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below if you bought any of them if you have do you smell the same thing that I do uh, subscribe if you haven't already I put out three videos a week and on Wednesday I go live for sausages so if you want to be a patron or a sausage the link is down below in the description box and now I'm gonna piss off because my battery is just about to die and hopefully this will last just enough so yeah thanks so much for watching and I hope I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!